Hey everybody, Mr. Hartzler here, and this time I'm showing you how to make part two of 5.5, uh, and this is for my intro engineering design class. This is the part we're going to end up with. We have a bunch of different types of holes. We have threaded, just a through hole, a clearance hole. This one has a counter sink, and this one has a counter bore. And we do that, and I'm going to do it over here by starting a sketch. I'm going to choose the XZ plane this time. That's usually a little bit different. I start off by making a circle at the origin that has a diameter of four inches. If you're one of my students, then you can look at the plans on Classroom uh, to see all of these dimensions, but I'm just going to show you how I make it right here. I then have to extrude this up. It is 1.5 thick. There's our piece. Now I'm going to start a sketch on the top. I'm going to put a point, and that's over on the left, right here. I'm just going to put it on my uh, x-axis, in this case, and uh, 0 on my y. So it's just straight up from my origin. Then I'm going to dimension it. And looking at my little packet, this is going to be... 1.25 away from the origin. Then I'm going to do a circle pattern. That's right here. I'm going to click on that coordinate point and then click on the center of, oh, I'm actually going to click axis and then click the center. And you can see how it puts um, as many as I tell it. In this case, I told it to do six and I'm going to change that to five. And you can see how they're all split up here now. Press OK. I have five evenly spaced points all the way around the circle. I'm then going to finish that sketch. And I'm going to put holes around my circle. And you'll notice that it wants to pick all five. I don't want to do all five, so I'm going to hold Shift or Control. Both of them work. And I'm going to unclick all of these centers except one. I want one of them to stay there. And this is just going to be a regular through hole. I'm going to make sure termination says through all, and my thickness is 0.25. That number is correct. Hit OK. One hole is there. You'll notice that all of my other points disappeared. So I'm going to open up hole in my browser. See sketch 2, right click, and hit share sketch. This will like it see so that other sketches can use that same original stuff. And I click hole. Again, it wants to select all of them. Hold shift, unselect, and I need to change my hole. This one is a counter bore, which is this option here. And the diameter is 0.375. And the counter bore, again, this all comes from that packet. That one is 0.75. And it tells you that it goes down 0.25, so that number is correct. And then hit OK. And I have a counter bore hole right there. It looks straight at my top. You can see it still goes through. I just did a little bit. There we go. And I need to do another one. My next hole. And I'm just going clockwise around. It's this one. This next hole is a counter sink. So I click that little picture on my left. The angle should be 82 degrees. It has a diameter of 0.75, so that one stays the same. And my thickness stays 0.375, good. You might have to change those numbers. I've made this part recently, so a lot of those are still in there. And hit OK. So counter bore has a smooth side straight in. Counter sink is a beveled edge in. We're gonna do another one. And this one is going to be a tapped hole. So I click this option right here. Provides me with a whole lot of other things. And there is no bevel on the top. So I'm going to click this top option here that's just a drilled hole. It goes all the way through. My threads, that's this number here, are 0.75. That's true. That's good. My threads size is a little bit off. This is a quarter inch bolt. So I'm going to adjust this to 0.25. Quarter inch by 20 UNC is just the type of threads we're using. And OK. And off to our last one, 
click hole, should default. Now this is a clearance hole. So I hit this clearance hole option. And size, we want to make sure this is clearance for, let's see here. I think it's a quarter inch bolt. It's a half inch bolt. So I'm going to scroll down to half inch. Very large, but a clearance hole is made so that you can pass a screwdriver, or in this case, a nut driver, all the way through it and get to something that would be on the other side. Just a regular little hole up here. We have a counter bore, it goes straight down, counter sink, which is beveled, tapped hole, which I would thread a bolt into, and then my last one is a clearance hole or way for me to get a tool to another side of the part. All right, and now I can maybe right click on this and uncheck visibility. It looks a little bit nicer, a little bit prettier. If I go over to the other side, you can see that there are holes. All right, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, please click the like button. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please click subscribe and check that little box or click on the little bell down there so you can get notifications about when I put up some new videos. I'm an engineering teacher in a high school in Ohio. I teach uh, five sections of engineering and one section of STEM algebra. Uh, please like this video if it was helpful, folks, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.